What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is January 7th. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, blessed, fantastic whoop, day. I am with Tyler right now. I am still in Kentucky. Technically I'm in Indiana right now, but I haven't left yet. Um, if you didn't see my last video, you can go check that out for the fiasco that has been my attempt to move to Texas. Um, but I think I'm gonna leave tomorrow. Don't hold me to that. I've been saying that for a lot of days, but I think I'm gonna drive tomorrow. So today I wanted to come by and see Tyler's new woodworking shop. If you don't follow me on Instagram, after Shaheen, then you probably don't know who my brother is, but this is my twin. And he owns this really cool woodworking business called The Southern Craftsman. And he makes furniture. Yep. And coffee tables and cutting boards and all kinds of cool stuff by hand. And I'm gonna give you a little tour of the shop shop because it's really cool. I'm really proud of him. And if you're somebody in the market for custom furniture, hit I me up. Hit him up. I'll leave a link in my description for you to look up this stuff. So here we go. Okay, sir, give us the grand tour. All right, first thing you come in through the beautiful front door. I have windows, which is kind of a big deal to me. Whoop. A lot of wood shops and places kind of feel like a dungeon and I really didn't want that. So on this left side, we have a table that I'm working on, a nice trestle farmhouse table, which I'm really excited about. Ooh, I'm gonna get a little close up. It's beautiful. Okay. Yep, yep. And then in this corner, I will have like a display area, I'll have some furniture pieces I build, cutting board, serving trays, all that good stuff. Over here. And then over here, machining stuff. I won't bore you with the details. Over here, I've got some uh, area for assembly. All my fancy tools, got my hand tools on the wall. These are super cool. I just told him that if anyone ever broke in, they'd be in a lot of trouble because these are all, there's just so many weapons over here. But this is his little logo right here. Southern Craftsman, right there. All right, and then over here, we got a nice little office nook, which is really sweet, so. Um, office and I suppose my kitchen. Your kitchen, yeah, no, that counts. Kind of kitchen. Is that a freezer too? Yeah. You should get Trader Joe's stuff. You can I make it in the microwave. I have ice cream sandwiches in there if you want one. I love that. And then I need to get like actual tubs of ice cream. That'd be really nice. <laughs> so, and then in this back room area, we've got all my machining stuff. So, all the goodies: a saw that won't cut your fingers off, um, planer, sander, jointer, bandsaw, dust collector, miter station, vacuums, all that fun stuff. Miter so, station? Yes, yeah, called a miter. It's a miter saw. And cool. then this is the station in which I chop things. <laughs> so nice. And Tyler didn't have any training in this. You taught yourself yeah, pretty well, much. YouTube kind of taught me, so I got to give credit to uh, YouTube University. But honestly, it's really cool because when we were growing up, my dad was always building stuff and like basically built our house in Kentucky. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, he's, he's like that. He doesn't do carpentry for a living, but he's always been really good at it. And Tyler is one of those people that's good at everything he tries. <laughs> Like literally everything. Like I don't he, like being bad at things. He can like play every instrument and then he just decided he was gonna be a woodworker and here we are. Um, and I make videos of my face, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> and then you have all your wood up here. Yep, well that's some of it around the corner over here, which you don't need to see. There's, I have a huge inventory behind this wall. Oh, okay. I have lots of extra lumber storage. And then I have my own bathroom. Love really that. Exciting. I'm not gonna show you that though because it's super ugly and boring, but anyways. Well, we need to decorate that. But anyway, I am so proud of Tyler. This is so cool that he owns his own business and he's running it all by himself and it's just the greatest. And now we're we're both entrepreneurs. Yes. The Shaheens. Yes. Small business owners. Small it's, business owners. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's really fun. So so I think we are going to grab something to eat. I have I eaten today? Yeah, I had first wash for breakfast. Um I haven't eaten for a lot of hours, so we're gonna go find some food. And I will check in with you guys in a bit on what my master plan is to finally get to Texas. All right, what is up you guys? I just finished lunch with Tyler and said bye to him. And it sucks. <laughs> this is the worst part for sure um, about moving every time, especially this time, just not being close to them. And I've talked to you guys about this, like living an hour away from Tyler and Five minutes away from my mom has been so so special this year and i'm super bummed that i'm not gonna be as close again oh, like before but i know this is the right thing for right now and i need to try it and i need to go for it and they're gonna be able to visit and i am gonna come visit really often actually i already have a trip planned in like february to come visit so i know i'll be back soon and i'm just being a baby but um i just love being near them so that's tough and Honestly though, like originally with the whole move, if it had worked out the way that it was supposed to, I wouldn't have been able to see Tyler's new shop until like when I visited. So it was actually such a huge blessing that I got to do that today. And I'm so proud of him. 
just like beyond. And I think it's so cool that we're both like business owners now. Um, it's just, it's crazy. Just like, I don't know. I just feel like we're so grown up and we're like doing our own things now. And um, I feel like an adult, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I need to drive an hour and a half to get home. So I am going to do that now and I guess finish packing up my car. And then I will be on my way in the morning. My halfway point, so the drive is about 16 hours and the halfway point is in Little Rock, Arkansas and there's nothing to do there, I'm pretty sure. But I figure if I drive at like 8 a.m., I can drive like eight to five, find a hotel, sleep somewhere, stay with Mila, get some sleep, and then just get up and do the rest of the drive on Saturday morning so that I get to my house like in the afternoon when it's still daylight and it's not dark out is my goal. So that is the current plan. I'm gonna go home and spend the rest of the night with my mom, finish packing up my car, and I will check in with you guys, I guess, tomorrow morning on the drive. So see you then. Okay, good morning you guys. Uh, today is moving day. Oh, I have said bye today to the people in my life that mean the absolute most to me. And my mom this morning, um, man, it's hard. I almost forgot how hard it was to move away and say bye. I feel like when I was younger, this was easier for me. Um, I've done it so many times, but for some reason, this time is probably the hardest one. Um, so, I'm about two hours behind already. And the car is packed, it's ready to go. Mila's outside. Yeah, and I will show you the chaos of everything I packed, but I guess I am, I'm just sad, you know, it's hard to say bye to people you love that you don't wanna say bye to. I'm trying to be happy that I had the amazing year that I had and not be sad that it's ending and I know I'm gonna be back here really soon. Um, it's not gonna be like forever before I visit. It'll probably be like a month or two. So I know it's gonna be okay. I just need to be tough and be strong and know that this is a new chapter and it's a good thing and it's exciting. And if it doesn't work out, this is here and I can always come back. So I'm just reminding myself of that. It's gonna be okay. Um, Man, I'm just so grateful for the year I had here. And I hope the upcoming year is just as good, if not better. That's all I can hope. Um, I'm so freaking grateful for all the friends I made here and for time with my family and everything else. I'm just grateful. And if you're watching this, I miss you already so, so much. You have no idea. So, Mila is coming inside. It's very cold outside. It actually snowed here last night. Um, so it's kind of aggressive how cold it is, but I'm gonna go and show you the car really pit really quickly. And if you're a Miata owner, take notes, you guys, because I did some serious magic to get this amount of stuff in my car. It's crazy, so let me show you. So, as you can see, this is my teeny tiny car. This is the inside. <laughs> so in here, I have um, my comforter and my pillows vacuum sealed in a bag. Then I have Mila's blanket, Mila's bed, my backpack, a snack, a pillow. And then back here, this you, this has like this plastic thing that covers this so when the top is down, nothing like hits you. But there's a bunch of space under there. So I just removed that. And this is packed full of like miscellaneous things. And I also have a pillow and two of my plants on the floor under there. So I literally packed this so full. And honestly, the stuff that I had left fit perfectly Quickly. Obviously, my bookshelves and my furniture that my stupid movers left didn't fit, but at least that stuff did. And then I have a couple pillows that my mom is going to ship to me. So that is everything. <sighs> Mila and I over here, she's perched on the couch like a cat. We are about to head outside and get going. I will take you guys along for the drive and I will try not to cry too much more because, well, this has been an emotional roller coaster. But I guess that's it. I will see you in a month. Kentucky, man, <sighs> I will check in with you guys in the car. Um, hello, hello, hi, Mila and I, here's Mila. We are just here living our best life. It is, man, do I have a ridiculous update for you. Okay, so it is about 918 Central, which is like 1020 in my 
time technically. I have been driving for a very long time. I'm not even sure how long. I have about five hours left. My original plan was to stop in Little Rock and stay the night. However, I found a hotel in Little Rock and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay there. So I stopped, I got my cup of Starbucks and this was after like eight hours. So I went a little bit past Little Rock or yeah, I think it was like one town past it. And I stopped at Starbucks, they didn't have a bathroom and they were like, oh, go across the street to Burger King. But the girl was like, don't go that way because that's a bad part of town. And I was like, okay, I'll go to Burger King. Um, Cause I just needed to use the bathroom and I had let Mila out and Honestly, when you guys hear this, you're gonna be like, of course, this is your luck. So I go, to, I try to go to Burger King, and it says they're open till 11 for dine-in. So I stand at the door, and I knock on the door, and this woman at the counter looks at me, and then just looks away. Like, she doesn't see me, and she obviously sees me. And it was only like 6 p.m. at this point, and I knock again. And then this time, she like looks at her coworker, laughs, looks at me, and gives me the finger, and then goes back to work and like ignores me fully. And I was just standing there in the cold, like, appalled like this did not happen no freaking way did that woman just do it I'm like okay i'll go somewhere else so next i go to a gas station and literally within a second of me stepping out of my car this man walks up to me and he's like oh sweet ride and he's like complimenting my car and ladies like let me be clear you do not have to be polite to anyone that makes you uncomfortable ever and i kind of and I catch myself doing that like often, like I'm too nice in uncomfortable situations because like I'm worried about hurting their feelings, which I realize is stupid. And this guy was like, he like complimented my car and I was like, oh thanks. And I went to get my gas and then he like kept getting closer to me, closer and closer. And he was like, where are you from? What are you doing here? Why are you at this gas station? And I just like panicked and just like got back in my car and like slammed my door and as I was getting in he started screaming at me like you don't have to get in your car what are you so scared of like blah, blah, blah. and I just like sat in the car with my head down and just didn't know what to do and eventually he walked away and I waited until he was gone and started harassing another car I went ahead and got my gas and then <laughs> freaking went inside I like ran in this gas station went to the bathroom on my way out and on my way out of the gas station like between the bathroom and the door this guy starts following me and he's like what are you doing here um what did he freaking say he said you're in the wrong part of town white girl and I was like am I <laughs> And I just kept walking as fast as I could and he followed me like literally all the way outside and at this point I think I just like ran to my car. I'm not even sure um, And then I had a whole fiasco digging through my car trying to find My mini taser stunt gun situation because normally I carry this around with me I stupidly gave my mom my pepper spray because she was going somewhere the other night and normally that's on my keys But I didn't have it. So yeah, I was harassed twice at a gas station Very very scared and then I was like, okay I'm done with this. I'm gonna go to a hotel because I was like really anxious at this point. So I go to a hotel, like a Holiday Inn or something down the road, and I go to the freaking desk and I try to check in and the woman says, mm, sorry, we don't take reservations after 5 p.m. I was like, excuse me, what? Is this a hotel? Are you sure? <laughs> and I was so nice. I was like, no, I really just need a hotel. It's just for one night, like, you know, can, can you make an exception? Like, I've never heard of that. And she was like, no, you're gonna have to find somewhere else. And like, she was so mean to me for no reason. And I don't know, it was so weird. I, I just don't know what was happening. Mind you, the name of the town I was in was called Texarkana. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you haven't seen this drama unfold. Um, my Instagram is Brit Shaheen. Not fit Brit Shaheen, just Brit Shaheen now. So follow that for updates on this mess that is my life. Um, yeah, so Texarkana sucked. That was not a fun time. And at that point, I was just so anxious with like adrenaline rushing through me because I was scared and just wanted to be safe that I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drive all the way through. So... I just went through the welcome to Texas sign. I didn't get it on camera, which I'm kind of sad about, but yeah, I got the welcome to Texas sign. I am officially in Texas. Uh, and I just stopped off at a gas station to buy tampons because you know that started today because this is my life. Honestly, this week is just like a comedy reel. Like I don't, I think I have bad karma, but I don't know what I did. I must've done something. Um, because this sucks because there's really nothing between here and Sugarland So I think I need to just drive straight through. I don't know. It's gonna be an adventure. Mila has basically slept the whole entire Way like has not moved has just slept and cries and then I turn on the AC and then she's happy And she just puts her little face in the AC. So needless to say I wish I was Mila She is having a fine time clearly on her throne 
and yeah I've got five more hours to go so I guess I'm gonna do that but in the meantime I'm gonna link my mini taser in the description because this thing's great look it's pink it was only like $15 and um, it's a stunt gun so if you touch somebody with it it will like paralyze them so I just carry this around with me going into like gas station bathrooms and things like that because you guys you just never freaking know what's gonna be in those bathrooms you never know if someone's gonna follow you in there maybe I'm just a paranoid person but this is always in my pocket so don't attack me because I'll tase you I'm gonna link this in my bio because everyone needs it I'll see you in a bit update you guys <laughs> So for the past several hours, I have been driving down very dark roads um, and thank God I found a hotel. So long story short, if you don't know this about me, I am like night blind, which means that it's really, really hard for me to see in the dark. Like what is dim for you is pitch black for me, like literally black. Like I can't sleep in pitch black or I will kill myself trying to get out of bed in the middle of the night. Um, and it makes me really sensitive to light, like headlights, for example. So... I have these really ridiculous glasses. I can't believe I'm showing this on YouTube. Oh my God. <laughs> these are the glasses that I wear when I drive at night because they help filter the light. <laughs> these are so embarrassing. Um, but anyway, they make it easier for me to see at night. So like when headlights, when headlights are coming the other way on the road, it doesn't totally blind me. Or when cars are behind me, their headlights don't blind me because otherwise they would. So generally I try not to drive at night. Um, Anyway, I have been driving in the middle of nowhere in pitch black for the longest time, just like following one car in front of me because I can follow the brake lights for a really long time. And it was terrifying and awful and I was pretty positive I was gonna die. And then I came across a normal town and there's a bunch of hotels around here. And I came in and I said, I have a little dog, is that fine? And she said, actually, we're not allowed to have dogs, but I don't care, just put her in your purse and she let me come up here. And I have a hotel, so I don't have to sleep on the hardwood tonight. Um, it is about 11 o'clock right now, and I have about three and a half more hours to go. I am somewhere in Texas. So Mila and I here are going to have a sleep, have a little cuddle. I'm honestly not even tired, but I don't care. I'm excited that I get to sleep in a bed. Because the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, if I spend my very first night in my house on the hardwood floor, I'm probably going to not enjoy it and I'm gonna like hate the house the first night which I think isn't good as you can see my skin is not appreciating the stress of the move this week so dealing with that um I am going to go to bed yeah and I'll probably get up around seven so I can get to the house in the morning and give you guys a little walk through this, this isn't gonna be a house tour but I'll, I'll show you the house but for now I'm gonna go to sleep peacefully. So I love you so much. Good night. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday now, and I just woke up. I actually had the best night's sleep, although my skin is still having, like, look at this. My skin is pissed about all of my stress this week. Um, but Mila and I are back in the car. I've got her here with a bone. Um, I got an apple from the hotel because there's not a Starbucks within like 50 miles of here probably. Um, but yeah, I have three hours and 42 minutes left of the drive and then I will be home. But honestly, I feel a million zillion times better. At the time, I was like, I'm not tired, I don't need to stop, but I feel so much better and I'm so much less scared to drive in the daytime. So this was 100% the right decision. Very, very happy about it and let's go to Houston. We're gonna be there in a few hours. Okay, so I'm not gonna look at the camera because I'm moving, obviously. I'm on a very straight highway. Hold, please. I just have to tell you a story. Um, I got a speeding ticket. Honestly, this is my freaking life here. Look, look at this. I got a speeding ticket. Love that for me. I was, this was only like an hour and a half into my freaking drive. How did I get a speeding ticket? I was on this road that I guess was like a highway but there was literally no cars in sight and all there was was fields around me and I was driving too fast and uh, I got pulled over so quickly, like so quickly. It was the first time my whole trip I wasn't on cruise control. So I'm honestly just mad at myself. Um, so yeah, and the guy was super nice to be honest. It's my fault, so like what was I gonna do? Um, he was really, really friendly and I really thought he wasn't gonna give me a ticket, but he did. And I'm pretty sure it's uh, almost a $300 so that's awesome on the bright side I have never 
Okay, so the last time I got a speeding ticket or any kind of ticket or had any kind of accident or anything, I was 16. So, and those things only sit on your like record or whatever for four years. So I don't have any tickets on my record. I haven't gotten a ticket in almost eight years, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Is that right? Yeah, that's eight years, eight whole years. Haven't gotten a ticket, never been in an accident, nothing. So whatever. What's another $300? Now that I've already been scammed out of thousands this week, it is, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. And you know, I've just gotta laugh about it. It's, someday I will look back at this week and I will laugh and I will be proud of myself for being resilient and not running away when it was hard. So, yep, that's it. I will, I guess I'll see you at my new house. And we'll check in there. So, oh, and thank you guys, if you're still here, for being on this drive with me and hanging out and yeah just being here I couldn't do this move without you I mean that and all of your Instagram messages have like made me laugh this whole time and all of your prayers and everything have just brought me up so much and that means the absolute world to me so thank you and I will see you guys at home hey guys guess what I'm home <laughs> you know are you ready to go see your new house She's very ready. I think she wants to go in. Um, I'm not gonna show you the front because I don't want you to see what number street I live on, but let's go inside. Huh? We're home! Where are we, Mila? What is going on? <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Holy crap. Wow, this is the biggest blessing. Thank you. Yes, I'm freaking home. The sun is out, Mila's running around. Let's go inside, come on. I'm gonna let her explore. I think she's so excited to be out of the car, honestly. Um, I don't even know what to say. There's like an echo. You guys, look at all of this space. <laughs> My next video is gonna be an empty house tour, so you can see what it looks like in here before I fill it with all of my crap. Um, although I don't have that much crap, it turns out. Um, so it's probably gonna look pretty empty for a while. But I'm so excited, I'm so grateful. This made the mess of the past week so worth it. I literally forgot how much I loved it in here. I, I literally can't even believe it. So anyway, I have a meeting with the security system people today to get everything set up because I'm not gonna spend a night here without a crazy psycho security system. So I'm gonna go do that. Go buy an air mattress because we're not gonna have a bed for a week and a half. And yeah, uh, there's tons of videos coming this week, you guys. I'll be doing an empty house tour. I'm gonna do some girl talks, so definitely check out my Instagram, which is just at Brit Shaheen now. You ask some of your questions and plan for the girl talk videos, and I will give you guys a tour really soon. But thank you for coming along with me on this crazy move, and thank you for everything I couldn't do without you. I'm so excited for this chapter. So excited, it's gonna be so good. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.